morning everybody it's day 105 just sitting here at the campsite that i uh stayed at last night um it's not really even a campsite it's kind of i guess it kind of is the stuff's already packed up my tent was right there beast had hers right here um so it's day 105 so i got to the shelter yesterday i forgot to i didn't talk about it in the exit video because I didn't really do an exit video but um got to the shelter yesterday at like 4 45 maybe and there was nobody there and um I was out of water obviously because I talked about that but uh so I went down to the spring brought all my bottles with me um four of them basically <laughs> got down there it's all the way back to, well it's all the way down at a road, so I had to go all the way down to the road. Um, not the same way I came up, but it's... Oh, I, I don't know if it's the same road. I don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think it is, but it's a long way down. So, And there was like a little cover, wood thing that you had a little handle on it, and you covered, it was covering like this pipe that was filled with water. So... Beast went down there too, I guess, before I even got there, long before I got there, like an hour or two before I got there. <laughs> she, she, she didn't see the uh, the thing with the handle on it and know there was water in there. She just thought it was trash. <laughs> Cracks me up. Uh, so she went on the other side of the road and got something out of like a culvert or something. <laughs> it cracks me up. But uh, anyways, um, I'm all packed up here at 7.20ish. And uh, it's town day, so um, basically got 12 miles to town, and uh, I was going to push further last night, uh, I was going to push like another 2.7 after the shelter, there was nobody there, I was just going to go down to the, one of the roads, and there was a campsite there, so I started going after making my way all the way back up from that shelter and the water, because once you get the water... You still got to go up big time to, to get back to where the trail was. So I started going and it was like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 later. Um, I hear hidden and it was beast over here. Camp right here. So I'm like, all right, this will work for me. And uh, it worked great. It was a little cold last night, but um, it, that's just the way things are getting. It's better than being hot, I guess, when you sleep. So, doing 12 miles today to town. Got a hotel booked there. It's right by the Walmart. Probably just need to get a ride into town. And then I think they have laundry facilities in the hotel. So, not too expensive. It was like 150 or something like that. So, um, and then, uh, yeah, that's the plan anyway. I've already had breakfast. And obviously I'm pacing back and forth because I'm a little chilly. So, all right, I'm going to get started here. Um, yesterday ended up being like a 19.5 day. Um, really, it was like a 20.5 or something like that, just because I went to the <laughs> I went to the barbecue place that was closed. So, not to mention the water and all that. It was ended up being probably 2021. But, all right, well, I'm going to get on the road. I'll check in with you soon. All right, let's hang her up. Last full day in PA. Tomorrow, we doing just a small little section in PA. We're crossing in uh, Maryland, where I lived for about 18 months in Annapolis. PA's been rough. No joke. I'm not lying. I'm not kidding. I'm not pulling your chain. And I'm not blowing some smoke. It's rocky. Uh, that's true. And what else is true is it's either easy or hard. 
There's no in between. The last, I don't know, day in PA, or the last 30 miles or whatever is just beautiful though. Trails just, you wouldn't even think you're in PA. <clears throat> So, not a lot of water in the beginning. <clears throat> and then we got downpoured on a few times. And that replenished a lot of the streams and springs. There was a deer in front of us. <laughs> um... So yeah, it got muddy, got wet, it rained on, gave us everything. The actual temperature has been beautiful like yesterday and today. Oh man, like 75 and just kind of dry. Uh, not like a, it's not humid. <clears throat> and that's what we got after the rain a nice little cold front or whatever you want to call it because it kind of is a cold front really but so yep all right i'm jibber jabbering I'm gonna hang it up and uh we'll see you down the trail Stopped at the shelter here, this campsite, and uh, <laughs> it's right off the trail. And not the one of the best ones I've seen, other than yesterday, there was a nice one there too. Got a spring over there, you got a place for hammocks, you got a clothesline back there, you got a shelter here for snorers, you got a shelter here for non snorers, you got a tumbling run, which is the name of this shelter, with a uh, looks like a rose up there and some tent sites in the back you got a picnic table here you got a picnic table up there it's covered you have a fire ring over there fire ring right there you have some sitting areas over there by a fire tent sites and a privy over there as well so this is like one of the best uh sites i've seen and you know of course you never know what it's going to look like until you get there um, sometimes there's pictures on far out but and you even have a tree with a face on it so ideally this is where i'd want to stay you know when i pick my shelters but it's just convenient it's not really it is not really set up where you know like it's only five miles from town you know what i mean it's just why would i stay here you know but Probably work good for no bowers. They just go to town, resupply, and just sorry, I'm gonna hike five miles up you know, and stay here, you know. But there's another one uh, about two miles, three miles away as well. And yesterday I passed through one that was even nicer than this. So I even had a caretaker and all that, but uh, I didn't video that one. Uh, I'm about to hit the road, 5.7 out, uh, 5.7 left to town. Just trying to get to town about two, not trying to get there super early. And um, what else? Uh, it's like 11 o'clock. So, all right, I'm going to get back to it here, drain my feet, just uh, and ate something. So, I'm going to get back to it here and uh, see you on the trail. A couple of brand new spanking bridges. A nice little water source there and that side and we got another bridge up here another brand new bridge thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you not much water in this one. Yeah, it's probably for uh, flood. About to start going uphill big time. Just waiting for it to start. 
Should be starting any time. Anyways, we're hanging up here. We'll see you down the trail. What's going on? About uh, 1.5 miles to town here. Um, what a beautiful day. Trails. It's all right. Just some rocky seconds today, but no big deal. Um, all the heavy work is done, lifted for the uphill. And uh, it wasn't even that bad. i tell you what really helps this weather. It's like 75 or something like that. And it's just cool breeze and no humidity. This is like uh, California, Colorado weather here. That's what this is. Um, it's, it's all about the humidity, so. So if I'm wearing my hat, it usually means two things. <laughs> it usually means that I'm silk blazing, which I am not doing, or I'm trying to get those gnats, gnats. Are they gnats or gnats? I'm trying to get them out of my freaking face and out of my eyes. There's some sort of bug, flying bug, that loves to fly right by your eyes. Uh -huh. I think they're gnats, I don't know what they are, but it's not just me, it's everybody else. And uh, certain elevations have them. And uh, they fly like right in front of your eyes. And I've had a couple go in my eyes, so that's the reason why they're a concern. If I wear the hat, they don't tend to do it as much. If almost never do it, so. Oh, I got somebody here, I'm gonna hang it up. All right. So, can't outrun them. <laughs> All you can really do is uh, put your head net on if they get really bad. Go to a different elevation, get away from where they're at, or um, and kind of like wearing the hat works about 60-70% of the time. It's not even treated with anything either. They really piss me off or mosquitoes piss me off. I just put my head net on. I don't even play around. It's harder to breathe than that. It's harder to see and harder to breathe. So I try not to wear it. So, looking forward to getting to town. Uh, I'm probably going to get a shuttle. I'm going to try lift first. And, uh, I might actually just run over to Walmart. I don't know, I think the hotel is like right by the wall. It's like literally right behind it, I think. If that's the case, then maybe I'll just go to the hotel first. Check in, put the bag in there, and run over to Walmart real quick. Not for the resupply, but just to grab some food and some my Bullet House Farms smoothie, something like that. Maybe some hard boiled eggs, something I can just snack on and drink while my clothes are washing. And then once the clothes are washed, I'll uh, put some clean clothes back on and then run back over there and get my resupply. That's probably what I'll do. And then, uh, for dinner, I'm not really sure yet. I know there's an Applebee's close by. I'm not really a big sit-down restaurant type person. I hate the time it takes to sit there and wait and all that. But uh, maybe I'll call up and have it to go. And uh, that way I can just chill in the room, eat a big fat steak or something like that, or a, bur a burger, a burger, I want a burger. Give me a burger. Jeez. Okay. I'm going to hang it up here. I jibber jabber a lot. And uh, we'll see you in town. All right, bye. Down here at uh, PA 16, waiting for the shuttle driver. Um, there's like terrible service down here, so I couldn't even check lift. I actually had to go back on the other side of the road and up the mountain just a little bit to get a hold of the shuttle driver. 
So should be here in about 10 minutes or so. Going to town and uh, check in the hotel and probably head over to Walmart and get a couple things to eat, do my laundry, and then actually do the resupply. Upload videos, edit some videos, and the whole rigmarole. So, all right, um, we'll check in later. All right, bye. Just got the resupply done here and uh, this is basically I don't know could probably be more than for three days but three days I'm trying some new stuff here as well um, got 10 tortillas um, probably take some of the other ones I have left over and just stick them in there I haven't repackaged anything yet so for dinner I have like three of these four of these with the string cheese and the salami got two of those and for breakfast i'll have two honey buns up there I tried something new as well i got some honey bunches of oats there and then some non-dry fat non-fat dry milk so we'll have that as well in addition we'll have i was talking about this earlier the sliced cinnamon brioche. So I'll have like two or three slices of that as well for breakfast. Sometimes what I do is I split this, if it's gonna be three days, I just four, four, and four slices. So I'll have two in the morning and two at night. So, so two honey buns, that's real quick. Um, that's something new there that I'm gonna be doing. Try it. And then we'll have the sliced cinnamon brioche. Um, during the day, um, not to mention I could have one of these in the morning or during the day There's 16 of them in there. So uh, That's new. I haven't tried that yet um, This is my go-to protein bars um, I like the met RX as well, but these here You know I after I get done with this hike they mean all the stuff, you know, I mean these things are Riddle with soy protein. That's all it's got is soy protein in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which is really bad for men. It's really bad for women. So it's like the cheapest, you know, protein you can get. But they taste good. Um, they don't bother my digestive tract. And that's got 20 grams of protein. So that's what I'm going to be using for now. And I got some... Um, beef jerky here I can snack on throughout the day I hope I can make that last for like three days and this is new so this is my favorite brand Optimum Nutrition um, normally I get the all-natural one but they don't have that at Walmart I'm actually very surprised they had this here this Walmart was very unique in that it had a lot of stuff that normal uh, most Walmarts do not carry so I took advantage of that picked that up um, I don't know if we'll be carrying this 1.5 pounds. Uh, I might just put whatever I can put in a Ziploc and then throw the rest away. It wasn't cheap for that. I think it was like 25 bucks or something. But um, Let's see here. I got some macadamia nuts. So I always carry a nut usually. So I got the macadamia nuts. I only got one package this time. Because um, it's only going to be for three days. I got my go-to electrolyte here. And this Walmart, like I said, also carries this brand, which I picked that brand up at a, it's kind of like a Whole Foods, uh, but they had the grape one. So this is actually um, sweetened with stevia. So these are high quality electrolytes here and not, you know, riddled with the sucralose. So um, the propels are my normal go-to. But since they had these, I picked these up. These things aren't cheap either. Um, I'm going to try the um, grape flavor and see how that tastes. And yeah, I'm glad that they actually had those. But, uh, you know, I always have a lot of electrolytes 
And I also picked up two teas over here. I, I don't, I wish they actually had a, um, a non-sweet version. Um, actually, I don't even think this one is sweet. Let me see here. Are no artificial sweeteners. Um, it does have sugar in there, so um, it is what it is, you know. You can't just always get what you want. <laughs> so I'll be trying the whey protein uh, maybe throughout the day or the morning. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but so I got some new stuff here that's going on, and uh, we'll see how this resupply goes. I got to repackage all this stuff and get to be a lot smaller. And uh, we'll see how it goes this week. So, all right. I'll talk to you all later.